are very lucky because I get to switch rooms and now I have a huge room. So now we have a big bed. So now we have like a little apartment. It's awesome. We have our little like table, bookshelf, couch over there. And then this is my little bed, our little bed area. Hi. Hey. Oh my God. I love that like no one that I know is on this. That's making me feel very safe. Guys, why can't I look at who's watching the, the live stream? <laughs> Hello, guys. Oh, my God. Leo is here, though. Hey, guys. No, I'm serious. Why can't I look at who's watching it? Okay, fine. Babe. Babe, you're calling your dad. I, it's because I, I said this. I didn't want to turn my brain off. Because we were having such a fun conversation. I don't even remember what about. But we were. And now I miss you, so come back. Go call him so you can come back. I really want to watch Teen Wolf. We're so close. We're at such a good part. Remember the following just happened? Come to Egypt, period. Okay, I will. Guys, OMG. Guys, I had kind of a stressful day. Like a little bit. It was a little stress. But then I'm then Campbell. Slade and were help me calm down. Love them. So bestie. Sometimes these comments are guys, literally, why can I not see who is watching us? Oh <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's so funny. That was so easy. Oh my god, Drape. What is up? Katie! Katie, why are you not commenting? Katie, hello. Hi, Drape. Yeah, I see you. Drape, where are you? Come over. You guys should come over later. Katie! Ah, I love you! Hi, guys. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to chat with you. Was I being entertaining? Would you want to write another book? I started writing a book last spring, but then it turned into a screenplay that I'm actually making. So get excited for that. Yes, guys, me revealing all my secrets that... They, like, really don't have to be secrets because they're of my own accord. Like, it's not like I'm working for any company. Like, I guess it's for me. I always used to be scared when I would, like, split. I was so scared. I was going to spoil stuff about Hocus. Because then I would be like, what happens if I get, like, fired? Because I... You're trying to be clever and you couldn't think of anything. So, I, it's, oh, that's okay, Kaylee. I love you. Oh, my God. Hi, Aria. Thank you. It's my queen. It's why I bought it for Emma. But now I wear it every day. Um... I, I'll try and save the live. Guys, I normally just forget. Shoo! Hi! What's up? Love you. What? You got suspended because you were reading my book during class? No! Day. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, that's so sad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> For the people. No, I actually think writing a book is a lot harder than writing a screenplay, personally. Like, why did I delete 200 posts? Because I was like, oh, I'm so embarrassing, literally. <laughs> I was like, ugh. I'm cringing at myself. Um, what was I just talking about? I don't remember. Ugh. Oh, yes, I'm actually going to post my screenplays. It's just going to take a while because it takes a long time to produce something and write something in, like, the real world. So, but... Like, when I, so I don't know how in high school I pumped out, like, a novel and, like, three different short films. I, I have no idea how I did that. Um, I had a lot of time on my hands, I guess. But, like, now I just don't, life, there's too much to do. Guys, I'm, like, I, my sorority is director of philanthropy now. And the way that I feel like I'm on FaceTime with you guys, I, like, grew up with you guys and like grew up doing live streams so it just feels like i'm give, giving you guys updates on my life i'm my sorority director of philanthropy now so i have to do work it's really fun though it's so cool and i get to like plan philanthropy adventures is so great because what i want to do is like in the future i want to work really closely in philanthropy obviously because i made positively social when i was a kid and i made save the sea when i was like a second grader where i organized beach cleanups so I want to do that. You and your exec is so powerful. It's so cool though. Also, everyone is so smart. I get very intimidated by all of the girlies because they're all so awesome and cool. I'm like a big Greek life person. 
I love my sorority. <laughs> You're my favorite straight person. I'm not straight. I, I'm not. But thank you. Is acting or screenwriting more fun? You know what? Personally, like, it takes a lot. It's really fun to act. Like, I love acting. And obviously, everything that I write, I'll probably put myself in. Ooh, just being honest. Um, but, like, screenwriting just takes a lot of forethought. Like, you have to make it good. <laughs> Not that you don't also have to, like, make... It's a little different with acting. Like, acting, you get to be a little bit more creative. And I love, like, getting to kind of turn my brain off and then just do that. Um, but screenwriting, I'm like, oh, no. I actually have to be smart and, like, eloquent. Mm. How did I figure out I was a lesbian but not bi? I think I'm identifying as queer. I don't know. I mean, I came out when I was so young. And I don't think I had really lived my life enough to really understand my sexuality. So I, like, I just... I came out as bi because I knew I had liked men and then I knew that I had liked women. And then kind of as I've grown up and as I've seen how, like, the gender spectrum is you know, not what it is when you're 14, or, like, what you really understand, um, I just was, like, maybe I don't need to put a really aggressive label on me, because I don't, I don't know, I mean, I'm very, like, I think it's really easy for me to fall in love with women, I've had, like, really ex deep emotional experiences with women, and I think I had a lot of deeply emotional experiences with men, but I was a lot younger, so I don't think I really understood what I was feeling at the time. So, I don't know. There's a lot. I think you'll always be learning about yourself. And I think I'm okay with that now. Not to get deep in the live stream. Are you the girl from Hocus Pocus too? Yes! Yes. Sometimes I literally forget that Hocus happened because I'm like back at school and I just like do school things. But I'm like, whoa. That's slayed. That was cool. Opinion on girls who, oh, cancers? I love, I'm a cancer moon. So they're like my babies. I love them. I love you. I'm so glad. Te amo. Hello, hello. What are you up to, blondie? Not much. Waiting for my girlfriend to return for more. Miss her. It's really scary to step out of your comfort zone in college because, like, there's so many new people and different kinds of people and not being liked is really hard. But I think, you know, if you don't put yourself out there, you won't have the op you won't even give yourself the opportunity to find people who you love and who you really get along with. So, I mean, obviously there'll be, like, some trials and tribulations, but eventually I think you'll come to find some good people. There's always, there's always good out there. You just have to keep persevering. What do I miss about my childhood? Innocence. Ignorance. Anyway. Um, I love the new Taylor album. It's not, like, one of my tops. But maybe I'll grow to, like, maybe it will be at another point in my life. Oh my god, I'm so glad I could be your gay awakening. I actually love being women's gay awakening. It's so awesome because I think I don't come across that way. So it's really exciting when that is the case. Howard Rose and Mabel, they're really good, but I, I miss them. I met Emma at school. Emma's in, her, Emma's, Emma's in her little room, her office. My room screams Pinterest slay. I think that's a good thing. Guys, I signed my first lease. OMG. I'm so excited. We have a purple kitchen and we have like little fruit tiles. It's really fun. Hello, hello. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. I like my, you're like, thank you. That was not English. Thank you. These are, I would never take these earrings out. They're actually kind of, I think maybe getting infected though. They kind of hurt. Um. I just, I need to come up with another thing to talk about for like a really long time. Because I can keep talking, I just, sometimes my brain goes fully empty and I just stare into the abyss. 
Oh my god, you guys. Uh, so nosy in the chat. Oh my goodness, hello Jordan. How are you? No, it's not weird. You guys should just come up to me and say hi. I'm not scary at all. It's weirder if you like point at me. Just come up and say hey, which like doesn't happen often. Like I really don't get recognized, which is so real because I'm like, when people do, I'm like, why? But I like, it's so sweet. I always have such a great time. It makes my day. Start a podcast. I'm literally not interesting enough, but thank you. Thank you. I cried earlier. So that's post cry glow. Oh my goodness, of course. I had so much fun. It was so great. Guys, everybody calling me Blondie in the chat. Oh, I'm so glad. I would love to write another book. Uh, maybe I'll write another book. Maybe I'll write a screenplay. It just depends. I'm sure I'll write a book in my lifetime again. Like, it just seems like something I'll do in, when I'm like 35. Right now I'm going to enter my, like, producing, screenwriting, acting, and what I produce arc. That's my, that's my update for you guys, because I'm in class. I'm in school for all those things. Start a YouTube channel, guys. I could never keep up with that. I've realized that about my work ethic. I really don't go on social media. And I, like, I was never a YouTuber. Like, I never really was into YouTube. I didn't really know about all the YouTubers. It, it was just, like, not my niche. There was nothing, I was just like, for some reason, that wasn't the stuff that I was into, so I could never keep up with the YouTube channel, because I just like, I, eh, I would forget about it, I wasn't great at keeping daily routines. Molly, hey girl, love you, I know Molly, you're the best, why are you study your film and television, can you start vlogging? Yes, but you're like with me, and I'll just start vlogging for the group chat, would that be fun for you? Would you enjoy that? What drink is this? It's like a probiotic thing we need a lilia spam account i feel like my normal instagram is low-key just my spam account please do hard hands hard hands brazil omg yes i was that was so fun meeting everyone through it that was why influence was great because i got to meet all of you guys and like talk to you in person visiting bu next week omg get excited I'm so excited for Daisy Jones. Like, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. What kind of movies do I want to make? Um, I want to make movies that are very stylistic and very aesthetic driven. And I want them all to be very female centered and be obviously have, include a lot of sapphic representation. And I want to obviously read books and then produce them and adapt them into film. Yes, everybody's still friends. We're all still pals. Like, people sometimes just, like, you have work, things, like, you grow up. People, it's never, it's never bad. Sometimes life just happens and you grow up. Guys, sometimes... I, oh, sorry, guys. Um, I realized that I just don't, like, repeat the question, so it just looks like I'm talking nonsense. My favorite rom-com? Rom Probably How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. That just, like, defined a lot of my childhood. And that era was so good for rom-coms. Revive them! Bring them back! I love you. Rom-coms are awesome, but like, not anymore. I feel, well, I've talked about this so much, but I'm like, where is the age of rom-coms that we had, like, that era? Because that was so great, and now I'm like, what rom-coms are really coming out that are, like, super, besides, like, set it up? Or, like, there's this rom-com called Palm Springs that we watched in school that was really good, but it was, like, an indie, like, right when COVID hit and it was so good and funny and cute and I was like okay yes why are we not like publicizing these more I think it's because the, it's the age of Netflix this is not I'm just ranting but it's like the age of Netflix where Netflix pumps out so much content just to pump out content that they're not really making anything mm, like I 
I'm going to... I, uh, yeah, I think they're pumping out too much content that they can't save. Save Warrior Nun. I actually didn't watch Warrior Nun, but I saw it. I see it on Twitter, and it looks really great. It looks really fun. I just haven't found the time. Um, but it looks, I love the gays in it. They're awesome. Anything of substance, yeah. Um, where do I get my clothes from? I hate to be this bitch. I really do thrift a lot now. But also, like, this is so random, but I went to me at Abercrombie in LA, and they had, like, good basics, which was good. Save the Wild. Yeah, that's Amazon. Amazon's a little different, and I think HBO Max is doing a really good job of pumping out, like, really substantial TV shows, which is cool. Like, good for them. They also, like, buy a lot of really good indies, and I'm like, yes. Have I seen Panic? No, I actually haven't seen Panic, but I read the book. I read the book when I was in, like, elementary school. 